New at 10 o'clock, anytime a Mobile police officer fires his or her gun, that officer will now be under scrutiny by two review panels. The announcement is in response to our repeated calls about the outcome of the most recent officer-involved shooting. Local 15's Derek Rose is getting answers for us tonight. Derek? Kim, we've been uh, making those calls over the past couple of weeks about the investigation where a mobile police officer shot and killed a family's pet. We've learned that internal investigation is complete, but the case is now in the hands of a completely different review committee before it goes to the chief. Oh, well, that's good to hear. I, I've not been told that, but that sounds like, you know, that's, that's a really good thing. For Lynn Yeager, it's been a week and a half of waiting and wondering. What, if anything, will happen to the officer who shot her dogs in her backyard? The last she had heard on the case was from the chief himself. Last Monday when he called to, um, you know, offer his condolences and to tell us that they would be looking into the matter. And we learned late today the case file will make one more step before it gets to the chief's desk. Mobile Police Wednesday announcing a new review committee will look at all officer-involved shootings after the internal investigation is complete. The committee's first case the death of the Jaeger's dog. This is something that the city really needs to look into. I think we've had too many officers firing weapons out with citizens around um, in the last couple months, and it's, it's really a scary thing. It was the second time in a month the officer in this case, Kevin Kelly, had fired his weapon. He was cleared in the previous case where he shot a suspect in the butt. In the Jaeger case, though, he claims he was pursuing a different suspect into their yard a claim the Jaegers still contend to this day. You know, we've said all along there, there's, to me, a big difference. You know, if an officer saw someone jumping over my fence and it was an immediate need to go into my yard, that's something that I may could understand, but this was definitely not the case. On this review committee is a team of four officers, one executive officer, two supervisory officers, one who specializes in training, the other in policy, and one rotating officer on a case-by-case -case basis. This case in particular set to go to Chief Barber's desk here at police headquarters next week. Live at MPD headquarters, I'm Derek Rose, Local 15 News.